this episode of Horse Shelter Heroes. We just, we get so many, so I can kind of tell like when they're kittens, what kind of citizens they're gonna be yes. when they're grown. He has really severe arthritis in multiple joints. She goes, they're not vegan. And we open it, it's vegan. <laughs> Right now, I am working on grooming Fiesta. She has an adopter here today. So we just found Cinder cast. She had fallen down or laying down and was wedged between a hay feeder and the wall. Black Beauty's uh, adoption appointment has arrived and we are going to be taking her out to show him and hopefully everything goes good. You don't want to miss a single second of Force Shelter. According to the thermal cameras, which uh, Kimberly is so happy to use, it's about 100 degrees on the ceiling and 50 degrees down here where people are. Because these are close to 11 foot ceilings so that over in the uh, surgery suite we can have a lift pick a horse all the way up. So I'm installing a fan up there to blow air from up there to down there in the vet office so that everybody stays nice and warm. So let's make some sparks. Thankfully that 2x4 is not important, it's not holding the building up, but I'm going to have to chop it out too. Now I have a nice breeze blowing gently through here. You can barely hear it, it's a nice quiet fan, but it's moving some good air, so it's kind of getting warm in here. Not really, but the heat, I just turned the heater on, so. Anyway, it's installed, it's kind of a temporary install, if we like it, if it does the job, then we're going to permanently install it, trim it out, and make it look good. Because if I have to take it back out, I don't want to make it look good. Today, we're doing a lot of office work and small animal stuff. We already dewormed the, um, some puppies, and now I'm putting in records from last week because Dr. Liddy's not here, so we're just trying to utilize our time as wisely as possible. Dr. Liddy requested that we have um, basically our vet to-do list posted in a public place, so that way whenever we're in between things um, and she has five, 10 minutes of time, she can go knock one of these things out. So I'm going to put basically all of our to-do list with animal names on here, um, including like castrations, diagnostics, dentals, things like that. And then that way, if a vet has any free time to do one of the things a vet has to do, then they can see what's on the to-do list and go grab a horse and knock it out really quickly. I have this check that was given to the Full Circle of Life winners this year, which was Lazy Bee Equine Rescue in Utah. So I'm taking all these boxes, coming up with an envelope so I can ship it to them finally. It's gonna be fun. It's like playing jigsaw puzzle. So now it's the fun part of starting to tape it. Now that I got the boxes all arranged. I got Lazy Bee's check all packaged up. Just gotta get it addressed and we can get it shipped off to the post office, hopefully today or tomorrow, and they'll have their nice winning check. I talked with your personal reference mm -hmm. and she she told me a lot. <coughs> like y'all are y'all have been patiently waiting, so I'm super super excited for this appointment. He's more loving. I know Dusty is cuter, but he's very very calm and collected. Makai, come here, buddy. There's the boy. Oh, he does seem sweet. And if, if y'all get one today, mm -hmm. the other one will be getting adopted tomorrow. Oh, really? So whichever one you don't take, will get a home tomorrow. Oh, if, and if you don't take either one, that's okay too. I love playful kittens, but yes. you know, they can scratch and right. 
And I think he does this. <laughs> I think long term they would prefer this because yeah. they want to control pets and they don't want something that's just going to run from them. No, he's a favorite though. Everyone here loves him. We just, we get so many, so I can kind of tell like when they're kittens, they're what kind of citizens they're gonna be yes. when they're grown. <laughs> and I, he's gonna be a lazy sack of potatoes. We live way out on like mm -hmm. a lot of acreage and we want him to be an indoor cat, but I do want him to be, to keep the mice away. That's why I'm scared. This one. You, now you're on this one? Yes, that one. Which one do you like, Chloe? Mm -mm. Oh, yeah, of course, you guys all. Okay, what about you? You want a playful cat or a cuddly cat? I have cuddly. They're more gentle. Just a cat? <laughs> what about you? A playful. Oh no. I know. Oh, are you in love? Sweet girl. I I'm not going to lie. I do believe that Dusty has chosen you guys. I think so. I think, I think Dusty us. chose y'all. So here at Horse Plus, mm -hmm. all of our animals that are looking for love mm -hmm. are found on this wall. Okay. When they find their loving homes, we will move them to over here. So this is everyone that has found homes oh, this month. Yay. So if y'all want to go ahead and move him over. You guys excited to get a cat? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Congratulations to all of you guys. Y'all are now the proud owners of Dusty. Thank you. We are so happy. Dusty has found his new home. I am so excited for him and his new family. There's no better home for a cat than with three little kids. So he has now found love. And now we just have to do the same for his brother tomorrow. So today we're cleaning out a few of these stalls, getting ready for the next animals that are coming. We're mopping them, sweeping them, getting them all nice and pretty. Alright, that's it for cleaning out stalls and uh, thanks for coming along and now it's off to do whatever else I have to do. Alright, so this morning we're going to go up to quarantine. We triaged out some horses that need further evaluations and we're going to complete those further evaluations today and either do x-rays, dentals, or whatever they might need as we go along. Dr. Gina and Kimberly and I are up at quarantine today. We had so many horses come in through the last buyout that we had to triage a lot. We're doing more thorough diagnostics. A lot of these horse need, horses need radiographs or dental floats, and we're making sure that everybody has had all of the vaccines and testing that they need as well. Right now we're looking at Sunny Girl. Oh my goodness, we gotta get the shoe off. When is the farrier coming? Tomorrow. Um, this horse could really use The some. plan just says complete more thorough veterinary examination, including musculoskeletal and dental health. Okay. I think we should sedate her and put the speculum on. Hi. This horse needs priority farrier care. Um, she has no pain on palpation anywhere. Her teeth are great. She doesn't even need a float. She looks like she's been floated oh. probably within the last year. She's gaining even just in the couple of days that she's been here. Yeah. You good girl. You get to go out in a big space. Yay. Yeah. Okay, this one's gonna go up your nose. Sunny Girl has passed with flying colors. She's getting all the things. She's getting her vaccines and her orals, and then she's gonna be released into the 10 acre behind us. Good boy. Okay. This is Ragnar. 
he came in with our group of more than 50 buyout horses, and he's got a pretty significant lameness of his left hind leg with a lot of muscle atrophy and some swelling. So we're gonna take some radiographs of the major joints in that leg and see if we can find out what's going on. Good boy. I'm just waiting for him to stop moving. Ready? So we're looking at Ragnar's radiographs on palpation, he's got a lot of pain associated with his stifle joint, which is kind of like the human knee. It's the biggest, highest motion joint. He has really severe arthritis in multiple joints and um, evidence of joint collapse. So we're supposed to have a really thick, cushy layer of articular cartilage and then fluid in between that so that when those joints move, they have a soft cushion. It looks like he's got kind of bone rubbing on bone in that area. Poor buddy. He's got a fusion in this hawk too. I would love to watch him walk again. Yeah, I think he's just overcompensating with that stifle. So we were pretty concerned about Ragnar when he came in and we were able to get some answers on him. Unfortunately, he has very severe arthritis in his left hind leg, which is consistent with what we're seeing. He has some swelling and some muscle atrophy in that leg. Um, he's lame at the walk on that leg and he's uncomfortable to palpation. We also can hear some severe kind of sucking sounds in his lungs. Um, to me, they sound like very old, either fibrosis or a kind of a chronic pneumonia process. None of them are good prognoses. Um, so we are probably gonna do a belly tap to take a look at the fluid that's in his abdomen, but he's painful um, and he's an older boy and we are concerned that if he has a major organ disease going on, we don't want him to go to a new home and get sicker and sicker. So we're gonna recommend the last act of kindness. 1,002, it stopped at 1,002. Temp is 99.5, microchip ends 91649. Let's do Wither Rads. Wither Rads, yeah. Um, this horse's name is Bonnie Lass. Um, she's a standard bred. Um, she has kind of strange looking legs, so we are taking x-rays right now to try to figure out what's going on. All right. Might be superficial. I don't see anything that I'm super alarmed about. I think that might be a ruptured abscess. Let's take this right front carpus. So this was a fracture over here and we've got major osteophyte formation in the back of the leg. So it looks like, oh, these bones look great. But when you think about the fact that the suspensory apparatus runs right here, mm -hmm. this crunchy, pokey bone is affecting the superficial and the digital flexor tendons that are running right there. Let's get an orthogonal view of this. Right. On her hair. Um, Kimberly, yeah. do you mind walking her? Yeah. Um, that other fit look also looks abnormal. Let's radiograph the left Everything looks like normal in the source, yeah. but so you got to treat the patient, not the diagnostic. I mean, she's not lame at the walk. That's a, it's beautiful, except for this large yeah. what is that? abnormality <laughs> there. Okay, um, let's look at her teeth. You've got great teeth. What a good girl. Can I see the other side? I know, my fingers are cold and your tongue feels very nice and warm. I mean, honestly, her teeth look, her teeth look good. So we just got done looking at Bonnie last. We took some radiographs of both her front legs and her right hind, and we didn't see anything causing lameness, but she does have radiographic changes that are pretty significant, but no lameness, and her teeth look good, so she's getting all the things. So we've had a busy morning up here in quarantine. We've gotten a lot of dental evaluations and radiographs and um, more in-depth exams completed. And we're gonna take a little break. Our radiograph needs to be recharged and we're gonna eat some lunch. Hello, my name is Caitlin. I am the assistant shelter manager here at Horse Plus Humane Society.
On a day-to-day -day basis, I do very many things. Um, I assist Angela when she needs me. I approve and process adoption applications. I answer your phone calls, your emails, and your Facebook messengers. And I do a little bit of everything to help everyone else out. My favorite thing about Horse Plus um, is the adoption aspect of it. Getting to meet these people and watch these amazing animals go to such loving homes, it's so rewarding. I wanted to work here at Horse Plus because I've always wanted to help horses and animals in general. Um, and when I came here to adopt my horse Ruger, over a year ago now, um, I just fell in love with everyone here and who doesn't want to work with horses? Outside of work, I spend the majority of my time taking care of the little mini farm that me and Corey have built together. I also raise my feisty little two-year-old and when I need to decompress, I ride around in my Jeep. My favorite animal, you would never guess it, is a horse. But what you probably wouldn't guess is I have two. So hor I love horses, but I also love turtles. It's weird, I know, but I love turtles. Hey, Dom. What? I have a box. Uh, oh, that's oh, a wow, heavy, it's heavy. That's Careful, a heavy it's box. got batteries on it. Okay. Is it, is it the thing you've been waiting on? <gasps> is it? I don't know. Is it? What is it? I think I know what this is, so. Um, as you all know, that face computer decided to go I mean, it's still working, but it mostly goes blue screen. And I tried everything that I knew. I searched everywhere. I did everything that I could, and I could not fix it. We decided to get a new one. And it is, oh wow, it even has special instructions. You just pull this out here. And you just open. <gasps> Goodness! Wow! It's a Mac Studio! Would you look at that? So yeah, so we decided to get a Mac Studio so that way we don't have a blue screen of death anymore. And uh, yeah. Normally I work with Windows, but it's okay. I can work with both. And I will try my best to give you even better videos, get them ready on time, and you will have the best quality video. If you have been following the craziness ever since we've been uh, kicked out from the auction when we, when we talked about the horse that was literally gutted there from someone trying to perform an operation on it, we've been trying to still rescue horses over there. Now our buyout program is very successful. We're gonna keep that going, but we still want to be there for horses that we might be able to intercept from uh, being sold at auction. Um, the first time we were at a parking lot, um, just moving horses from one trailer to another and um, we were basically bullied out of that parking lot and we had to go over to another parking lot. And then we were told we had to have a dealer license. So we got the dealer license and we were like set up, okay, we, we've got the fairground rental, like we had to get, you know, extra insurance for it all. It was, you know, jump through all the hoops to do everything properly, have our dealer license, accepting horses that, you know, Coggins is required. Um, and, you know, we were doing everything by the book and the fairgrounds after we set up there um, and people found out we were there, you know, probably friends with the auction, um, basically I, I somehow told him. And even though we had a contract to do an event there, he, he told us we had to leave right during our event. So now I'm trying to get another place um, to let us, be able to transfer from one trailer to another. I'm calling lots of different places. People are like, oh, we'll just buy property there. Property is expensive. Um, so buying property is not, I mean, that would definitely solve the problem, but we can't just go buy property. Um, we don't have that type of financial reserve. So I'm calling um, different places and seeing parking lot is not ideal, but at this point, we're getting desperate. The auction is literally next week and we want to be there to intercept horses. So <sighs> it's complicated. So hopefully this place will let us set up. Well, um, who knows what will happen. I will just keep calling until I have an answer one way or another, but, um, the amount of loop 
hoops that we're having to jump through to rescue horses is unbelievable. I think the family name of the auction is throughout the town. And I remember sitting in the auction and um, it was reelect Wilson for sheriff. Everything's just very, very tied and close knit together over there. And, and they don't want any anything bothering their little, their little click they have going on. All right, we have brought Black Beauty in today. He has an adoption appointment this evening and uh, we're gonna be grooming him and getting him pretty again because he likes to play in the mud. Still putting you on my next job resume. Pulling it out. It's at least getting it to where I can get a brush to it because I'm gonna put show sheen on him too. That'll slicken him down and hide a lot of it and brush it out. Mane and tail detangler. Cause his hair loves knots. They call them fairy knots. The fairies stay very busy with him. Come here. This right here is show sheen. It helps polish the hair to make him shine. Was that your approval? All right, we have got Black Beauty cleaned as well as we can get him for as dirty as he was, and he is now ready and waiting his adoption appointment. Look what we got! So UPS just dropped us off. You want to tell them what this is? Bacon cupcakes. <laughs> so like I saw the outside of the box and it said baked by Melissa and it's like cupcakes. And I was thinking, okay, it's cupcakes, but they're probably not vegan, but we open it. She goes, they're not vegan. And we open it vegan and she goes, it's vegan. <laughs> cool. And they're so, I'm going to take one out so y'all can see how And we have a note are. of who sent them. Um, they're from Diane, so thank you to Diane. We love stuff like this, especially when it's vegan, because then all of us can have some. There it goes. Thank you, Diane. Oh, no. Let's check to the top. Look at the baby. It's so little. <laughs> oh, there's peanut butter, too. Okay. <laughs> Is it good in mm here? -hmm. <laughs> thank you, Diane. Chocolate mm -hmm. What? Vegan cupcakes? Where? Where? Oh, okay, okay, okay. No, no, no more. No more touching. No more touching. I am going to grab one and taste one Babe, of these. Babe, this is right here. Oh. Oh. Oh, wait. Which one is vegan, though? Are they they're all vegan? vegan? They're all vegan. <sighs> Whoever gave this to us, you're an angel. It's Diane. Thank you, Diane. I appreciate it for everything you've done. <laughs> mm. Mm. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Cupcakes, especially vegan cupcakes. Well, we had an amazing person, Diane, who donated cupcakes. And then we were extremely, completely happy to find out that they were vegan cupcakes because some of our staff are vegan. Some of us are vegetarian. And of course, there are others who are not either of those things. But when we get vegan treats, then everyone can share and it makes everyone happy. And we're just so thankful for Diane's thoughtfulness how she sent us some vegan cupcakes is so awesome. Thank you, Diane. Right now I am working on grooming Fiesta. Um, she doesn't really seem like she wants to be groomed today. So we're just gonna work through it a little bit. But she has an adopter here today that has been very interested in her since we got her. And we actually did a Zoom meeting with her um, a couple weeks ago, I think. And now she's out here to take a look in person. Good girl. Okay, okay. Good, it looks good. She's being extra jumpy today. That's okay. She's just excited to go home. I guess. Thanks, Corey. That's a big part. Oh, I was afraid she's going to be too short, and she is not too short. I want, no. like, she no more than 15. She short in her picture. Yes. But 
Hi, baby. My shirt. I know Corey was brushing her mane. I'm like, don't you do that. <laughs> <laughs> You're beautiful. Hi, honey. No, I don't have any trees. Do you live up there in Wisconsin? No, I used to. Oh, okay. Yeah. You're doing pretty good stuff up there. Yeah, we need somebody in Wisconsin. Hi, baby. Should I come in and see you? Yeah, come on come in. See you. How are you? How are you? Huh? Yeah. She's looking for cookies. Oh yes, <laughs> you probably to smells me. Lead her around a little bit. Yeah, we'll see how sassy we'll go ahead you and are. Close up this round pen for you. How are you, baby? Hmm? Huh? Are you pushy just like my boy? Huh? Good girl. Good girl. Huh? Yeah. Are you missing your coffee? There you go. Good girl. Good girl. Yeah. So yeah, I have a, a buddy to be in, to be in the pen with her that'll treat her nice. She she can be a little bit difficult to catch at times. Yep. So I, I well she's in there with a wild donkey right now. So yeah. If Hi. she's in a pen with a easygoing horse, I don't think it'll be any issue. Oh yes. Hi. Oh, oh I know. I know. Good height. Good height. Two to three years old. Yep. All right. She was wild when we got her. I know. I said, oh, I got I got a nice trained little girl now that she had to have all that work done on her. Yeah, she's still a little bit sassy, though, like you saw. Yeah, well, yeah, there. Until she gets settled. I mean, yeah, she's here and she's been here, but still, she's not home yet. You can sense that, can't you? Nope, we're not going that way. Right, what you doing? Good girl. Yeah, I'd love to take her. I think she'll fit right in. Yeah, you're going to adopt her? Yeah. All right, that's she'll, awesome. She'll fit right in. You will ring the bell and then we'll go do the paperwork. All right, sounds good. Congratulations, you are now the proud owner of Fiesta. Thank Here's you. all her stuff. You can go ahead and move her photo from looking for love to found love. Thank and you. Congratulations. Thank you. Uh, I'm Michelle and I have been watching Fiesta since the moment they brought her in and put her in the shoot. I am just a fan of the black and white, the gated, and she has, now that I've met her and heard, she is just full of curiosity and wants to learn. And that's what I'm hoping to do with her. That's her. Um, I've been waiting a long time, but that is because she decided to hurt herself and she is all healed and I'm very happy that the vets took all that time to make sure she's good and ready to go. And the adoption went really smoothly. Facebook a long time ago, I am a advocate for rescues, cats, dogs, horses, you name it. Um, so I usually take one at a time and I bring in the oddballs and that's what I have at home, all the eyeballs. <laughs> So Dr. Gina and I are super excited today. We are getting our new in-house blood machine installed and we're getting training on it. So this is gonna let us take our veterinary care up another notch. We won't have to send a lot of our critical patients' blood work off to another lab for analysis. Today is a very exciting day. We actually are getting our blood work machine all set up. So we have the reps coming in to train our staff. Um, and get it all set up for us. So this is a really big step for Horse Plus Humane Society to be able to do on-site lab work. Um, so if we get a horse that comes in and, you know, maybe there's organ failure going on or there's, you know, other health concerns, maybe it's anemic, we're gonna be able to run the test here on site and know immediately what that horse has. We try to do the very best quality of medical care we can here at Horse Plus Humane Society and our amazing vet hospital and having two veterinarians full time is evidence to the emphasis we put on animal health and getting down to the bottom of what's going on with these animals that are coming into our facility. So uh, it's just a whole nother level of care we'll be able to provide and we'll be able to get diagnostics sooner. So it's like an exciting day. So we had some representatives out to help us set up these blood machines and teach us how to use them correctly so that we can have accurate results. So we were pretty excited for these two new blood machines that we have. This is the CBC machine, complete blood count. This will let us check for anemia, infection, um, all, all different kinds of things, electrolyte imbalances. 
This is our chemistry analyzer, um, which does basic organ function, but also um, we can run body cavity effusion. So if we have a horse with ascites or something like that, um, we can also run joint fluid on it. So if you can't tell, we're excited. Um, providing evidence-based care means having diagnostic equipment. And this one takes three minutes. This one takes 12 minutes. So we have, if we have a really critical patient and we suspect something like organ failure, mm -hmm. we can do the in-house diagnostics here at Horse Plus to determine that. Pretty cool. Do you always feel tired? Are you having a hard time getting work done? Well, worry no longer. Introducing Celia, Cellular Regeneration Daily Dose. Just take a few and see what happens. I feel so much better done. Now I can get this application done. Celia, designed to help improve your health and with daily use, may increase your energy levels making you feel vibrant and ready to take on the day. I've been taking Celia for a few weeks now. I'm able to get through the day and get through the grant applications that I need to process throughout the day without feeling sluggish and down. And I recommend Celia for everyone. It's an amazing product. So we just found Cinder cast. She had um, fallen down or laying down and was wedged between a hay feeder and the wall. Um, we saw her this morning, so we know that it wasn't a super long time, but it's, you know, lunchtime. We're not sure exactly how much time. It's evidence that she's struggled a bit to try to get up, but because of the way she was wedged, she wasn't able to get up. Her mucous membrane color is pretty good, but her capillary refill time is delayed, so she's a little bit dehydrated. We've given her some pain medication, um, just a teeny tiny bit of a sedative to help her muscles relax while she's down, and we're gonna give some warm rectal fluids with electrolytes, and then we'll see if she's able to stand. Um, one of our biggest concerns right now is nerve paralysis. When horses are down for too long, they can have permanent damage to some of those critical nerves. So um, this right front leg right now we're worried may not be able to work, but we're going to let her rest for a minute, let these pain meds kick in, and then we'll um, see if we can get her on her feet. Why don't we just... Try uncover it. her eyes and see if she has the ability. It's okay, it's okay. Good girl. Her eye is very contused. Her eyeball itself appears to be, but she probably in her struggle was hitting her head on both sides and you can see she's got hair loss on both sides. We were able to get some sterile eye lube into the eye itself, and I'm just trying to make sure that she doesn't have. She does have a cut up on her pole as well. Okay. So we're here with Cinder. We finally got her up after Dr. Lydia successfully got some fluids via rectum with some electrolytes, and we gave her some pain meds. And when they rolled her over, she stood up. So we were worried about radial nerve paralysis in that down leg, but she's, she seems to be doing okay. She does have some significant swelling associated with some of her sort of superficial wounds, but she's not out of the woods yet, but we've got her up and we're gonna do some blood work. So we were able to successfully get Cinder back on her feet based on her external injuries and the appearance of the site. It looks like she may have been down for two up to three hours. She has some superficial <laughs> abrasions everywhere. She's lame on her right hind, but she has a really significant superficial contusion of her head. We're gonna go run some blood work and take a look at overall function. She's had pain medications, anti-inflammatories. She'll be started on antibiotics. Um, and then she's had fluid therapy and electrolytes and she's out walking around and drinking. So we're not out of the woods. We're gonna be watching her really closely, but right now I'm happy with how she looks. Today is farrier day, so we are going to be running up a group of horses uh, so the farrier can check them out and get them trimmed up when he gets here. All 
All right, we just got done running the group of horses up for the farrier, so they are pinned up and we are waiting on him to arrive. We just finished giving Cowboy here a trim. He's looking good, nothing, nothing much going on, just a routine trim. Easy peasy. This is Gus. Um, he's one of the very nice mules that we um, got in, we, or we got them back actually as owner surrenders a couple months ago. This frogs are kind of weak, it's a little bit thrushy. Um, that's pretty common in mules because it's got real deep commissures and mud gets packed up in there and doesn't get very much air. Uh, but all in all, all in all looking pretty good, pretty happy with them. This is Bowie. He was basically totally wild when he got here and corey has been working with him a lot and he's made a lot of progress, but he's still pretty nervous and a little unsure about having a second person. So we're just trying to take things slow so he has a good experience with the farrier. I know Corey does try to work on bringing them forward too, so they also get used to putting it up on a stand or a knee. Yeah, you did pretty good with that one. Good job. You can do it. I know it's a lot of holding up your foot, but you got this. So much work. What a good boy. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. This is Bowie and he did really good. This is probably his first trim ever. And he was pretty nervous, but he was respectful and did really good. We're really happy. We are up in quarantine um, with the farrier because we had um, a few horses up here that couldn't wait. Um, so we are trying to get um, hopefully three horses done right now. Um, but we'll see what we have as far as time. This is Jolene. So Jolene um, was one of the first group of 14 we got in the most recent buyout. Um, and she was super sound when she came in, but popped up with what was apparently an abscess within like a week or so. And then she was super lame and we were like, oh no. Um, so the vets, um, we had put her up in a stall and the vets had been wrapping her foot. Um, and she did blow out an abscess, so she was feeling a lot better, but we did want to have Elijah look at her feet today um, just to see how that's going. Not seeing, not seeing any real damage from whatever abscess she had. And looks like she's holding together pretty well. Definitely needed a trim, but. Right on, we just finished up here at a quarantine. Just finished with Jolene. She's getting let off right now. Front feet are looking pretty good. There's no no real damage from the abscess or anything. Um, we didn't get to her hind feet. She's still being a little bit a little bit persnickety back there. So when she gets out of quarantine, they're going to work with her a little bit more and uh, and get her more used to being handled back there. And then we'll give that another shot. So yeah, that's uh that's it for today. I'm wrapped up and I'm out of here. Well, I am super surprised and happy by these results. To me, that says she was down not as long as we thought. Like for a yeah. short, yeah. relatively short. She time. was down for a shorter time than we thought. She just fought really hard. Yeah. So we just finished running blood work on Cinder, our mare who fell um, and was stuck down and we're pleasantly surprised by the results. Her blood work shows that she's not clinically dehydrated and we did give her fluid, so that's really great. There were no electrolyte imbalances. She does have an elevation in neutrophils, so we have some impending infection. We're starting antibiotics today and we're gonna keep a really close eye on her. Black Beauty's uh, adoption appointment has arrived and we are gonna be taking her out to show him and hopefully everything goes good. I'm very excited to meet Black Beauty. Can't wait. All right, we got him out here in the stall and cleaned up. And Great. We'll get him out and let you check him out. And then when he gets home, he's gonna get all muddy. <laughs> <laughs> he loves the mud. This is Black Beauty. Oh, he's over here. I was looking at that one. Yeah, this is I'm Black like, Beauty right here. Hi. He's still a little timid of people. Hi. 
I almost brought some cookies, but then I... I've got some treats if you'd like to give me one. Oh, thanks. Yeah, one. One. But when you're laden him, he, he is a little prancy. Okay. Uh, he ain't too sure of mud puddles and water puddles, but he eventually goes through them if you just let him check it out. Okay. He needs a little bit more desensitizing. And is he hard to halter? Is he hard to catch? Sometimes he wants to play a game and see how many times you'll come across to get him. <laughs> but a lot of times if you give up and just, I throw the halter on the ground, a lot of times he'll walk up behind him. He catches him a lot easier than I do. He thinks it's a game when I do it. Yeah, I have a little pasture right behind the barn that I'm gonna keep him in because it's real high fence. So the two horses can get to know each other through the fence. You will like it where I'm, you're going because you have lots and lots of pasture to run. So are we going to be taking Black Beauty home? Yeah, <laughs> we are. <laughs> I can't wait. <laughs> Alrighty, she will be adopting Black Beauty today. Oh, I never would have guessed it. <laughs> All right, we have finished uh, Black Beauty's adoption appointment. Uh, it went very well. Black Beauty has found his forever home and is awaiting transport. I'm here to adopt Black Beauty. I'll just love on him for a couple weeks and let him get used to the farm. I have a almost daughter-in-law that trains, so we'll see what she has to say about working with him. I'll do. I'll do. I'll work with him in the meantime. It was very easy. I just did not believe that I'd be the one that they picked and I'm so happy. Our horse got hit by lightning last July and our, his half-brother was looking so lonely we decided to start looking for a, a buddy for him and I just put in rescue horses. It was the very first one that came up and he was the very first horse I saw. He just happened to have the same name, Black Beauty, and we called him BB. <laughs> and I'm like, this isn't meant to be, so I put in an application, and here I am. So I do have Black Beauty up here right now in the um, holding pen. He's right next to the loading chute. And the reason that we have him up here is because I'm going to be taking him home tomorrow. Um, I don't have my trailer here with me, so we're not going to be able to see me loading him or anything like that, but he is going to his new home tomorrow.